Hey guys, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the second card for my Cauldron Bubble Stamp Kit of the Month. All the details are over on my website. So we're going to make this card now. This is basic black card stock. We're going to start out by scoring it at four and a quarter to form our card base. Okay, so now we're going to take the Designer Series paper and I want to make sure that I cut this so that I can get two to a sheet. So I'm going to place it this way, this direction, and I'm going to cut it at three inches. That's going to leave this whole piece. And then I'm going to cut this to measure four. So it measures four by three, okay? We're going to take our pumpkin pie layer and add it to our basic black card base. Let me turn that over. And then we're going to add the designer series paper to this basic black layer. So far, both of our cards have used this awesome black glittered, <laughs> I can't say the name of it, but I love it. Okay, so. So I'm going to tie it right here, but then I'm going to, well, let me stop talking for just a second. I always say I do better tie-in when I don't talk. Okay, so I'm gonna trim the ends and then I'm gonna slide it down because we want it as far to the end of this layer as we can get. So I'm gonna bow it and then slide it down right to the edge and that's about right where we want it, perfect. Okay, we're gonna take the basic black layer and I'm gonna use the Everyday Label Punch. I've got this pumpkin pie piece here and I'm gonna stamp Trick or Treat. And then I'm gonna take the one and three quarter circle punch and if you find that that's too small, you can always use a post-it note. So let me show you how. I've got a post-it note. I'm just going to add that to the edge. And that just gives you a way to hold it a little bit easier. Okay. Trash. Okay, now let's stamp our cat. And I am using Memento ink because we're going to be coloring it with our... Um, Stampin' Blends. Okay, I'm going to give her a second to dry, and then I'm going to come back over here and go ahead and add this layer to the front of our card using dimensionals. Now that the holiday catalog has gone, gone live, you guys, uh, let me know what your favorites are. I think we share some favorites, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and then this is gonna get centered across the ribbon. So I'm gonna take a dimensional there and a dimensional there, and it's gonna go right over. But before I attach it, I'm gonna go ahead and add one of these. They're frosted and clear epoxy droplets. <laughs> That's a mouthful, but aren't they beautiful? You could use the larger one if you want. For some reason, I just am saving that one for something else, like some of my Christmas projects. And um, these are not included in your kit, but you can use rhinestones. So on your instructions, I will put that you can either use these or rhinestones, okay? So let's go ahead and add this to the card front. And then we're going to add the trick-or-treat. 
and then we're going to get the big shot out and we're going to cut that cut out but let's color her first so i'm going to use the dark pumpkin pie stamp and write marker and i'm going to color her ears and her little tummy you could use the light if you want but i just felt like since these are really bold colors that um yeah it looks good with with the dark I always gravitate towards the lighter colors, but for this project, I wanted to use the dark. Now this is the light smoky slate, okay? Okay, we're gonna get the framelit piece, which is right here. You guys have already seen me use that on a couple projects before the catalog even went live. So let me get the big shot. Hey, big shot, magnetic platform and a cutting pad. We'll place her on here at an angle so that it works better. Here she is, cute, right? And now let's take a couple mini dimensionals and put one on the bottom and one at the top. <laughs> okay, so it looks like I stamped trick or treat a little a little high on this one, a little low on this one, but they both look cute no matter where you stamp it. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day. Thanks.